Hi Stampers, it's Mindy at Bada Bing Paper Crafting and I know I just did a video on the embossing mats from Stampin' Up. They look like this. There's also a gray one. Let me use the blue one. Um, but I wanted to show you just a little bit of a different way, again, to use them. And the lawn guys are here and I thought they were done. So if you hear the leaf blower, I'm sorry. But anyway, these are my featured cards on my blog today for the Fancy Friday Blog Hop. And what I'm gonna show you how to do is do this um, really cool texture embossing on the backgrounds. And when I showed you the other day, I did cut out images. So you cut out the image and then you run it through um, again with the embossing mats. But for this one, we're just gonna run it through on our cardstock. And I'm going to use one different color here. But I have my original platform. Um, and I have taken all the tabs off. The new Sissix platform is a little different than this. But this is what I have. So this is what I use. But I have found that I need a shim of cardstock to make my images really emboss well. Um, and you basically just figure that out by running it through. And if they're not deep enough, then you go ahead and add the shim. So I've already figured out that I need a shim. So my sandwich is going to go the platform. I put my cardstock shim down. And then I put a clear plate down. And what you're going to want to do here is... I'll show you this one first. Use washi tape. Because you're actually going to flip this over. Um might not be very sticky anymore. You're going to flip this over and emboss from the bottom. So you can't see it when you do that and you don't want it to move. So then you put, like I said, the die cutting side up and you've washi taped it to your paper. Then I use the thin blue mat and then the top plate that comes with the um, embossing mats. So you don't need the top plate clear plate. So I'm going to peel this off without knocking over my setup here. And you can already see from the back that it's embossed. And then you just gently peel away. And then you have your cool embossed design. So it works the same way like with this one. And I'll show you how I did this one. So I stuck these down. And again, we already have our sandwich here. So I'm going to put that cut side up. Again, try to do this without knocking my um, camera mount over because I have it stuck on a shoebox. So run this through. The lawn guys are probably looking at me. They can see me in the window because I've decided I want to film right in front of the window for the light. So you can see it's worked here. And then for this one, I just turned it upside down and kind of lined it up so that then I get another set of embossing just offset a little bit. This is Sahara Sand, I believe. And the other color was um, Call Me Clover, in case you wondered. And then... I think I got them a little closer on my card, but you get the idea. You can line them up pretty closely. Um, and if any of them are too embossed or have little um, ridges, you can either use your finger or even get a bone folder in there and just kind of rub those out and make them a little more unified. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you will either put your embossing mats on your next order um, or use them if you already have them. Thanks. Bye-bye.